So my friend Van Gelis had an idea for a project to take his 16 millimeter projector and upgrade it with an LED light source. This would have many advantages, including a truer white picture color and a lack of distortion as the shutter moves because we're going to remove the shutter and use a microcontroller to digitally control our light source. We had a couple of difficulties with this, including driving an LED as fast as we were wanting to at multiple times per frame. Most LEDs are designed to be illuminating all the time at a very consistent light level, and we want to do the opposite of that. We want it to flash as brightly as possible for one moment and then be completely off the next and then repeat over and over again. So for this, we had to design several custom power circuits and resistor chains. So with that, let's hop into the video and see. Seriously, I didn't know what I was getting myself into when these guys said, oh, you can flash LED. I'm like, oh, yeah, I can flash LED. <laughs> can you talk a bit about what this is? Sure, absolutely. So this is a um, long uh, dream that uh, I had to make a projector run on the 110 uh, volts LED and try to uh, replace the bulb. And that worked like a charm. And then again, suggested like, oh, if it's an LED, then try to flash it. So I tried to flash it with 110 direct. I think that it was totally inconsistent and I went for a DC one, but I didn't know what I was getting myself into. <laughs> so I removed the, the Canagam Sato and started experimenting with flashing the LED. And I tried with a uh, transformer that was standard LED, and that's where you jump into the, the thing and explain how that's never going to work. And we need a, need a linear um, um, power supply. And then we had to double it in order to stabilize the current and the uh, LED to uh, stop flashing, stop being consistent with the lighting. And then it's all the magic of code that you wrote to be able to um, uh, flash at the right rates so to reduce the, minimize the filtering close to zero and then you produce this amazing image where grays are grays, whites are whites and it's the most stable picture I've ever seen in a 16 millimeter projector. Well done! That's amazing. This project was a lot of fun, taking the digital aspects and slowing down time to work at timescales that I'm not very used to dealing with, multiple interactions in the fraction of a second. So we've taken the code and we've uploaded it to GitHub. So if you're interested, you can take a look for yourself. And if you'd like to learn more about some of the challenges we faced, feel free to leave a message in the comments below and I'd be happy to take a look at them. Thanks for watching.